the Ross Sea, just a few miles from the South Pole. At the bottom of the world, summer only lasts six weeks. So fishing boat crews must work round before. No sorts of drama going on here. A colossal squid. The biggest squid on the planet. She's hanging on to the gaff here. Oh, what's that mouth here? San Aspiring's crew will make maritime history. It's got these enormous eyes that are going Something that would make one man very happy. They have no fear. Absolutely no fear, squid. Steve O'Shea is a New Zealand marine biologist and a squidaholic. They are the most amazing animals on the planet. You know, if you were to invent an animal, you would never create a squid. I want to be here in a hundred million years' time and see what I've turned into. Steve's fascination with squid has driven him to spend over 20 years trying to understand the ocean's most elusive predator. Over the years, he's dissected more than 100 giant squids. The second biggest squid in the world. The biggest is the colossal squid. But there are things in the depths that we don't understand that are fascinating and some of them are enormous. And one of those things is very, very large squids that live in the deep sea that we almost never get to encounter. I'm Dr. Kat Bolstead from Auckland University of Technology. I run the AUT Squid Lab. I'm here today in Wellington at Te Papa, which is New Zealand's national museum. Te Papa has got the only complete colossal squid specimen on display anywhere in the world as part of their Te Taio nature exhibition. This colossal squid was encountered in the Antarctic when it came up feeding on hooked toothfish on a long line. The captain recognized the opportunity to save this specimen for science, brought it on board the ship, and brought it to Te Papa where we had, first of all, the chance to examine it, and second of all, the chance to prepare it for the...